What is it? Oh, it's a brim. It's a huge brim. That's a huge brim. I said, you know what? I'm gonna cast just behind that breaker. Yeah, you didn't cast it far at all. Just the one small hook with a little bit of fillet. I knew it. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> it tastes beautiful. Uh, yeah. What'd you use it? What'd you get it on? Hilton. That's good. This, uh, these brim, you know, they hunt in the night on the surf. Let's see what he goes up to. They are, he hits the magical 40, 40 centimeters. centimeter mark. That's huge. And he's going up to 41, I'd give him, yeah? Yeah, 100%. 41, a 430, 41. Beautiful, look at that, man. Okay, um, guys, you've seen um, how I've caught this uh, brim off the surf. Um, it's a few days later now. I put it in the freezer. With brim, you can put them in the freezer with no uh, loss to the quality at all. But what I'm going to do, um, I have my fish over here. On the other side, what I've done is that I've cut up some shallots or spring onion. I've uh, finally chopped up some uh, ginger and I have two cloves of garlic as well which I've uh, 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 chopped as fine as I could get. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on one side on the other side of this uh, bowl over here I'm going to put some sesame oil in it Okay, I'll just have some sesame oil there, as you can see that. Then I'm going to put some rice white vinegar, rice wine vinegar, sorry. Just going to put a little bit of that, that's enough. And then I have this seasoned soy for seafood. Okay, now this here is a recipe which, uh, which was inspired by one of my Asian friends. Um, he's off now cutting the world, but we used to fish together heaps and, and he taught me how to do this. Obviously I went on the internet as well and uh, I went and brushed up and had a look at, at, uh, at how to do it exactly, but he was the one that inspired me. And last of all I just have brown sugar, I'm going to pop about one teaspoon of that inside as well and I'm going to mix that around. Later on, you'll see where that will come into play. So now, I'm mostly prepped up. So one thing I will do. I just have a very, very small pot over here. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the peanut oil in here. Not too much. I think that's about enough. And I'm going to put that... To, uh, the, uh, okay, before I place the um, fish on the wok, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, slice it, I'm going to make some slits into it. This will allow it to cook a little bit more evenly, turn it around as well, and the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and slice, slice, and slice, and there we have it. That's, uh, I've sliced okay. that. So, what I have over here, I've boiled up some water. This water is almost boiled. It's in this wok. In the middle over here, I have this little, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little net where you put the plate on. So my plate will sit straight on that with the fish. Okay, so we have an empty plate. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of the mixture on the bottom. Uh, so essentially what it will happen will be come like a bed and I'm going to mix it all up first and I'm going to make half of it like a bed and then half of it I'm going to put over the fish there we have it I'm just going to put it a little bit down like that okay so my fish will sit on that all right there we go I'm going to pop Mr. Brim straight on there and then I'm going to put the rest over that
first one and put all of that in there and if you want you can put some of these ginger and garlic in those slits which you've made earlier okay I think that's enough I don't want it to become too hot because I have kids eating it as well and then I'm going to put some in the cavity as well right, so this is the cavity the gut cavity I'm going to pop some of that in there okay now it's almost ready now what I'm going to do the mixture which we had of here remembering that it was our soy sauce our sesame oil sugar and rice wine vinegar all right I'm going to pour that over our fish just like that a little bit more like I'm gonna put the whole lot on there we go so that's how it should so look now I have my water boiling what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my fish as it is with the plate being careful there we go you have to be careful of your hands over there that's sitting fairly okay on that just have to Maybe make it sit a little bit more equal. There we go. Okay. And I have this large dome type of little lid. I'm going to pop that on there close. Get your head on, mate. Okay. Now I'm going to let that steam for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to put my timer on and then after. So that will have a look how how it is okay so here we have our fish um it's been in there for just over 10 minutes um it's looked good the uh the flesh is nice and flaky just one last thing i had to do that's our we had our peanut oil so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pour that gently over okay be careful that will go over our uh, fish just to crisp up that skin and to give it a nice peanutty um, flavor let's have a look at that let's open that up and look at that pure beautiful white flesh